Hello and welcome to Futurefile, a show which fills the gaps in your techno knowledge. I'm Dan Rowland. Today I'm going to be clubbing with a difference, perfecting my swing at the Top Golf Game Centre here in very snowy Watford. Well, today we're at Top Golf, which is the latest futuristic golf centre which uses state of the art digital technology to hone your golf skills. And joining me is the MD, Peter Oldport. Peter, what was the inspiration behind this centre? Well, essentially three years ago, uh, a group of friends sat down at a golf course and we were asking ourselves, how can we make practising golf and getting into golf more exciting and more fun? And the answer was, we needed to create targets and provide feedback so that when people practise, they actually know how well they're doing. And three years later, three million pounds later, we're here today at Top Golf in Watford. So how is Top Golf different from other driving ranges? Well, the fundamental difference is that every golf ball has a microchip in it. Uh, and you hit that golf ball out into a target. Uh, and in those targets, there are uh, numbers of readers which reads that golf ball and gives you a score back on your screen in your individual bay. So you know how far you've hit your ball uh, and your accuracy. How do you go about, Peter, getting a silicon chip in a golf ball? I mean, it's got to be very durable, presumably, because of the whack that, you know, the golf balls have to take. Well, that was one of the major challenges, uh, and we have spent three years actually overcoming the difficulty of inserting a chip into a golf ball. Uh, one, one of the main challenges is that the manufacture, manufacturing process of a golf ball subjects the golf ball to huge uh, temperatures and pressures and so we had to find a way of protecting the microchip through that manufacturing process and we, we did find a way of uh, doing that essentially by putting a cover uh, on the the chip and having a spring system that allows the chip to survive the the pressure that it comes under both in that manufacturing process and when people are hitting the ball okay so you got the silicon chip in the ball what other technology have you got here what we do here is that every golf ball is allocated to you as an individual, again through another microchip that is in the membership card that all the players who come here have. Uh, when you begin to play the game, you put your ball on the, uh, the stance mat, as we call it, uh, and your ball is red at that point. You then hit your ball out into the target where it is red again, and then that distance that you've hit it and your score is sent back to the bay where you uh, read your score on a screen. And do you see technology playing a larger part in sport in general in the future? Well, technology certainly is playing a, a bigger and bigger part in, in sport. Uh, if you look at cricket, you've now got uh, umpires making decisions based on video playbacks, and they're talking about the same for rugby and, and football. And I think technology will play an increasing part in, in sport, but it, it will never I think it's a supportive role rather than uh, the technology taking over uh, the game and that's what we're trying to do here. Thanks so much, Peter. Oh, I need some help. Um, and here to help me, in fact, is Malcolm Joseph, who's the head golf instructor. Malcolm, can you turn me into Tiger Woods in five minutes? Well, we'll give it a good try, but I think it might take a little bit longer than that. OK. All right. Work your magic. OK. Let's yeah. start with the grip, then, because that, as it's been said, is like the first part of a good golf swing. Right, Dan, let's get the grip right. Let's put that club across your fingers there. Oh, yeah? Making sure that your fingers hold the club and the ball of your hand sits on the top of the club. Sorry about the plaster. That's all right. That oh, yeah. pad there, or the ball of the hand, sits right on the top. OK. Put your thumb down the centre. OK. Let's link the right hand on. Overlap your little finger and make sure that the palm of your right hand covers the left thumb. All right, so you're basically forming a nice unit together. Your hands are going to work together in your golf swing now. OK, that well, looks a lot okay. better. OK, it feels weird. And then the next thing to do, really, would be to get your body in position. OK. And then we just need to bend forward from the hip slightly. Do we? OK. I look ridiculous now. Stick your, stick your bottom out. Stick your posterior yeah. out. Right. And bend your knees just a fraction. Bend your knees, That's right. It. Shall I have a go? Yeah, have a little go with that new grip and see how it feels. Just try a practice swing, maybe. Okay. Oh. Well, that's an improvement, isn't it? Yeah. Good. Not a bit, bad. A little bit more distance and a better direction. So why is this place um, a good place to learn how to play golf? Well, with the technology that they've developed here, 
it gives you an instant feedback on the shot that you've actually hit. I, I can see an array of cameras around the place, Matthew. Yeah. What are they well, for? what we can do with that is we can actually put your swing on to the, um, the digital computer that we have here, uh -huh. and then compare you to Tiger Woods and show you where you went wrong with your swing. Or show Tiger Woods where he went wrong with his, presumably. Well, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you set them up, and I'll right. just get okay. to you. Have a little swing Thank there. you very much. I'm a swinger, baby. Right, Dan, we've live captured your swing onto the computer here. And as you can see, what I'm going to do is split the screen and put you up next to Nick Faldo here. OK. And I'll just show you an interesting thing about your ball position here, an interesting point. If I draw a line up from that, from the ball up to your head, and a line up from Nick Faldo's golf ball up there, and you can see that his is more opposite his left ear, whereas mm. yours is more opposite your right ear. Oh. So, so you can see that the ball position needs to be a little bit more opposite your heart there. And your ball position's a little bit too far back in your stance. Oh, yeah. Okay? Yeah. So now, as, as Nick Faldo swings, one of the things that you'll see different in his swing to yours is obviously in the length of the swing. And what you'll see is that he's <laughs> turned his body a lot more, hasn't he? He's really yeah. turned his shoulders about 90 degrees. Yeah. The stomach and the hip area have turned about 45 degrees. Whereas here, you're a little bit restricted, and the weight of your body is actually down into your left leg at that point. Oh, yeah. And that's your full backswing there at the, at the top of your backswing. And you can see that the weight of your body hasn't really moved into your right leg there. No, it really hasn't. So okay. he's shifted it onto his right so leg, he? shifted his he? weight onto his right leg. And then as he swings through from there, the weight will transfer onto the left leg. And he'll turn all the way through. So he's hitting with maximum power from his body turn. Mm. What about Which, me? And as you hit your ball, your weight's actually moving back onto your right leg. So your weight's actually moving away from the ball as you hit it, rather than through your shot. I think it's the I think it's the weather that's affecting my swing. I think the cold's really restricted you today, yeah. <laughs> that's all it is. I'll come back when it's sunny. Good idea. Good idea. Thanks, Malcolm. You're more than welcome. <laughs>